54 The story of Silver City Foundry within the land called the Changers Church Valley. Reservation. The name is really what it is and because it is the Silver Foundry there is a lot of things going on all at the same time. We have trains come in and going all the time. We have a train fix-it shop at both stations because all the cars wear out and the locomotives and cars needs to be fixed all the time now for they are getting old and seems like we get one fixed and one more breaks. Now we have put in more bays to fix cars and engines. Everything is electric anyway so there is not much to fix if it does break down. Mainly on the cars the locks need to be fixed most of the time. That what holds the Orin and lets it out at the foundry. The population of Silver City Foundry has 100 residents. Has 120 homes, stores, factories, hotel, dinner and bank, horse stable with fix-it shop. The Changer Church Main Office Church, Council, Court, Jail, Church School. County School and City Hall, General Store, Laundry Mat, Barber's Shop, Hairdresser. Small Hospital, Dentist, Movie Theater, Gospel Music Dance Hall. When the town gets bigger there are more businesses added. I got here about noon and I went right to the dinner and got something to eat. When I got there and went in and sat down. It was not long when the waiter come over and said what they had for a special today. I said what I wanted and it was not the special. It was not long when they brought my meal and I sat and ate while everyone was coming in. Going. When I got done I went right to the church and to my office. I made some phone calls and got some things done. Then I went to the city hall and when I got there someone was at the desk and when I got close. Enough I could hear them say they wanted to talk to me. When I got to the desk I said how can I help you? The person said if you are Jack we need to talk I said I am and follow me. I went to my office and we went in and sat down. The person explained why they needed to talk to me. I said okay let me get back to you on this for I need to make some phone calls to see if anything like this can be done here. The person said okay and got up and left. I had their name and where they are staying so I know how to get in contact with them. I got ready for court and had time to read some of the folders. I grabbed them and headed for the courtroom. I got there and went in when I go up to my chair when I was stopped by one of the guards. I had my black rob on and then the person realized who I was said follow me. They took me right to my chair and I sat down. I got through them for most was some of the ones that could have been sent to tone diddle with. Me even getting in the middle of all of this? It is time to set things up here too so everything will be taken care of and even will have to come back here for a while. Now I will let you in on what that person wanted. The person works for the foundry and is the main chemist and is also a gourmet chef. When not working for the foundry they want to teach people on how to be a gourmet chef. All well and good but it seems like the only place that it can take place is at the dinner inn. There is just not enough space for an extra chef and others to be in the kitchen at the same time. For this to work we would have to build a new dinner and then the person can have a class and also run the dinner and serve the food that they were also teaching on how to prepare and serve. To build a new dinner would take up to 8 months and lots of people to get there to build the dinner. We have so many other buildings to be built in other cities that we only have six building crews and they are all on other jobs building new buildings and fixing others while they are there. I guess the only way it can work out is when the next town gets the dinner finished we will have the chef go there and teach classes and run the new dinner. The person still will have to work at the foundry for the four hours every day and then four hours at the new dinner to teach classes. It would be only about half hour to the next town so the person can go there and then head back and get some rest and then do it all over again. We will see how this will work out over time. Now it is time to go and say goodbye and I will see you in the next town.